if you were going to take sides in an argument that involves state power and diplomacy and war, well, then it doesn't matter whether you're me or Salman or um, Michael Moore or uh, Harold Pinter. Um, you're going to find that you're on your side or in your camp are people who you're not like. I mean, the Iraq war was opposed by His Holiness the Pope, by His Grace the Archbishop of Canterbury, um, by uh, Vladimir Putin, by people whose names are almost too leprous to mention, uh, Gerhard Schroeder, uh, Jacques Chirac, you know, professional political pimps of the lowest order. Um, George Galloway, someone who managed to be both a pimp for and a prostitute of Saddam Hussein in the same cycle. I mean, I don't judge Salman's view by that. Um, but I would put Paul Wolfowitz or Kanan Makir against any of the above mentioned, or Kofi Annan and his rackety, bought out, oil for food, rotted United Nations. Easily and any day, and give reasons, as I do in the book, why that's true. These are, people, these are people of, of real principle. Uh, opposed to the most, I think the most, the most appalling collection of opportunists and thugs it's possible to imagine, and I only mention the most celebrated public figures. I mean, behind that was something even more sinister that certainly someone should have been able to see through, which is an alliance on the street between the, what's left of the hard left, the rather thuggish elements of the Socialist Workers' Party and um, the remains of the CP, the Communist Party, and the Muslim Brotherhood, openly allied against Western democracy for reasons that are too obvious to go into, though I don't mind going into them.